New procurement. Philippines buys more powerful warships to deploy to West Philippine Sea. The Philippines will need more vessels to secure its territories, Military Chief General Romer Bronner said Wednesday, amid the growing dispute with Beijing in the West Philippine Sea. Bronner, who attended the opening of the Asian Defense and Security ADAS, 2024 exhibition at the World Trade Center, told reporters that Manila is looking at big-ticket items that will be very useful to comply with the requirements of the country's new defense strategy. The military official was referring to the Comprehensive Archipelagic Defense Concept, CADC, the central government's new strategy designed to protect the whole of the country's exclusive economic zone. We need ships so that we have an effective presence in the WPS because the name of the game is Presence. Whoever is there in the WPS, they control the area. So, we need additional ships and platforms for maritime patrol, including aircrafts, he added, emphasizing the need for them to fix its bases so there would be platforms for the new vessels that are coming in. The WPS is Manila's name for South China Sea waters that lie within its exclusive economic zone. Last month, Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro said the Philippines has started soliciting offers as it is keen to procure about 40 multi-role jets to keep its territory free from intruders. During the budget hearing at the Congress, Teodoro said suppliers must submit a proposed financing package where payment can be spread out. Just to get, for example, multi-role fighters, one dozen of those will not make any difference at all. So, the minimum for us will be 36 aircraft, which is only a squadron and a half. But that would be credible. Plus four in reserve because 80% in service rate is a good standard, Teodoro said. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has approved Rehorizon 3, an acquisition plan for new military weaponry and equipment worth 1.89 trillion pesos, $33.64 billion, to boost defense. On Monday, the Philippine Navy unveiled Israel's delivery of the brand new vessel, also known as the Acero class patrol, at the Pier 15 of the Manila South Harbor. It will be utilized for territorial defense, Philippine Fleet Spokesperson Lt. Giovanni Batadels told Naval News Tuesday when asked if the vessels will be deployed in the West Philippine Sea, Manila's name for South China Sea waters that lie within its exclusive economic zone. We can't say yet if it will be deployed in Palawan or Zambales, but for sure it will be for defense of the nation's borders, he added. According to the Naval Public Affairs Office, the 295-ton fast craft, with hull numbers Patrol Gunboat 908 and Patrol Gunboat 909, are the 7th and the 8th Patrol Gunboats of the Acero class. Equipped with the Israeli Spike NLOS, non-line of sight, surface-to-surface -surface missile system, the patrol gunboats have speed of 40 knots, 74 kilometers per hour, and have a range of 1,900 kilometers at 17 knots, 28 kilometers per hour. Similar with their predecessors, the newly delivered platforms are designed for high-speed operations, featuring advanced missile systems and sophisticated onboard technology, which enhances the Philippine Navy's capability to conduct rapid and effective maritime interdiction operations, NPAO Deputy Director Commander James Reyes said. The arrival of these vessels underscores the continued modernization of the Philippine Navy and represents a crucial step toward bolstering the self-reliant defense posture program of the country, he added. Currently, the Philippines, China, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Brunei have competing claims in the South China Sea. Beijing asserts its 9-line claim. 
In 2016, a tribunal in The Hague ruled that those claims had no legal basis and recognized the Philippines' sovereign rights in the resource-rich waterway, a decision that China has refused to accept until now. The Philippines is intensifying efforts to bolster its maritime defense capabilities in light of escalating tensions in the West Philippine Sea, WPS. Military Chief General Romer Bronner emphasized the urgent need for additional vessels and platforms to ensure an effective presence in contested waters. The move aligns with the country's comprehensive archipelagic defense concept, CADC, which seeks to safeguard the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EEZ. Key developments in the Philippines' defense modernization strategy include Maritime and aerial assets Naval expansion the Philippine Navy recently received two Acero-class patrol gunboats equipped with advanced Israeli Spike NLOS missile systems. These vessels, designed for high-speed operations, enhance maritime interdiction and territorial defense. The Navy now operates eight Acero-class patrol vessels, each capable of speeds up to 40 knots and a range of 1,900 kilometers, supporting a rapid response capability. Aerial Reinforcements Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro announced plans to procure at least 40 multi-role fighter jets. This includes a minimum of 36 operational aircraft and four reserves, aiming for a credible defense force. Budgetary Commitment President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has approved the Rehorizon 3 acquisition plan, allocating 1.89 trillion Cuban pesos, $33.64 billion, for defense modernization. The plan underscores the Philippines' commitment to achieving a self-reliant defense posture. Strategic Importance The West Philippine Sea remains a flashpoint for regional disputes, with overlapping claims from China, Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei, and the Philippines. The 2016 Hague Tribunal ruling in favor of the Philippines' EEZ remains unrecognized by Beijing, which continues to assert its Nine-Dash Line claims.